winter chills, and this will result in an increased further, uh, or uh, I suppose a further increase, one should say, of power usage in different municipalities. To find out uh, about power solutions, the 14th Africa Utility Conference is currently being held in Cape Town. And joining us to talk more about what Johannesburg City Power is doing, we are joined from our Cape Town studio by Sitelo Kulu, who is the Managing Director of Johannesburg City Power. Sitelo, thank you very much for joining us. It's good to have you on the program. Uh, thanks, Leanne, and again, good morning to the viewers at home. Let's let's start off with talking about Johannesburg City Power. Um, there's a there's a process of rolling out 50,000 smart meters across the city of Johannesburg. Um, how how is this initiative going to assist in providing efficient power supply? Now, thanks, Leanne. I think, uh, uh, firstly, maybe I should uh, say upfront that uh, as we you know going towards the winter. Uh, I need to probably ask, uh, you know, the customers out there, I think across South Africa, uh, to be able to, uh, you know, save electricity. I mean, we've just recently gone through a load shedding uh, a period, and I think as a result of the capacity constraints that we're having in the country. So every effort that is made uh, towards uh, saving electricity, I think that should be great. Now, coming back to Johannesburg and, and specifically addressing your question around, you know, the rollout of smart uh, 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 meters, I think firstly, you are aware that, uh, you know, a couple of years ago, we were actually faced with the challenge of uh, uh, billing, uh, for instance, uh, and as well as uh, we are aware of the challenge of the capacity constraints that we have in the country. So therefore, a rollout of smart meters will assist or will go a long way in making sure that customers start taking control uh, of actually their usage within their homes and then making sure that uh, they start saving electricity, uh, which will obviously then contribute towards you know, the outages, uh, also towards demand side management uh, within uh, you know, the country, and as well leading to a stable and reliable electricity supply within the city of Johannesburg. Uh, city Power is currently involved in the smart grid project. How is this also going to assist consumers? Um, basically, smart grid is all about uh, modernizing your infrastructure and, and therefore making sure that if you've got outages, you're then uh, able to quickly restore the power uh, where it's actually necessary. So I think uh, uh, from the outage management point of view, uh, that obviously assists a lot uh, in terms of making sure that we respond as quickly as possible uh, in areas where we've got uh, uh, outages. Uh, but over and above that, as I've said, you've got uh, then a power of making sure that the customer can then be able to uh, uh, control some of their loads within their homes just to make sure that uh, uh, they start uh, saving electricity. So we're giving that tool to a customer to be able to uh, save electricity uh, as well. Are there any alternative energy suppliers that City Power is investing in offering permanent electricity supply in some of the informal settlements around the area? Um, uh, certainly, Leon. I mean, if you look at, uh, I mean, yesterday, as we here now at the African Utility Week, uh, as City Power, we actually uh, were acknowledged or got an award uh, around uh, the best uh, uh, sort of like uh, projects uh, within the energy efficiency, both water and electricity, I think, project. And this is mainly because of the uh, major project that we're currently rolling out around solar water geysers within the city of Johannesburg. But also, over and above that, we've actually uh, invested a lot lot in terms of um, uh, energy efficiency around street lighting, for instance, uh, and also making sure that uh, we upgrade the infrastructure so that it can be able to cope with the pressure that we're actually seeing uh, from the demand point of view. So there's a lot that we're actually being, uh, has been done uh, by the utility. I mean, the issue of electricity and illegal e electricity and incorrect billing have been some huge challenges that have been faced by City Power in the past, in the past and now as it, as it happens. Have you embarked on plans to actually resolve these two issues? Uh, we actually started uh, uh, about 18 months ago with that particular plan. Um, and you're probably aware that uh, we've been doing a project in Alex and also other areas uh, you know, within the city of Johannesburg where we're actually removing illegal connections and making sure that we're normalizing the supply by installing proper prepaid or split prepaid meters and protective structures. And I think we've seen a lot of improvement uh, from the, you know, uh, the network uh, reliability point of view and reduction in terms of the outages. So 
we continue with this particular program uh, to make sure that we keep the issue of illegal connection. But again, uh, we would like to urge you know, the citizens out there uh, within the city of Johannesburg to be able to report some of these uh, incidents so that we can then be able to respond as well accordingly. But we've gone as further as also making sure that uh, we are actually investing a lot in terms of uh, your low voltage infrastructure where we've seen a lot of outages uh, happening at that particular level. Um, I mean, if I may just quote some of the figures, uh, for instance, just this financial year alone, we're basically investing about 1.7 billion just towards the infrastructure uh, strengthening and refurbishment as well. Yeah. All right. Let's let's talk about why you're in Cape Town now, because uh, as I mentioned, the 14th annual African Utility Week. I mean, this is happening. It's boasting world class conferences with basically showcasing showcasing uh, technology, machinery, and solutions for power and sector in Africa. Talk to us about some of the ideas that that perhaps we can implement into our system. I must say that you know the African Utility Week is an annual uh, event where the leaders across the continent, uh, the African continent, will will meet to discuss challenges and issues that are faced within the you know the energy and water uh, industry. So I've been part of this process uh, from from Monday, uh, where we discussed in length uh, what are the other countries, including South Africa, uh, are doing in terms of you know uh, advancing towards smart metering and smart grids. And I must say that we've been able to showcase, especially you know, part of the program that we're currently busy with around uh, modernizing our infrastructure through smart grid and smart meters, um, uh, uh, basically how far we are in terms of our project. But over and above that, we've been discussing issues around the infrastructure backlog, ranging, ranging from uh, electri electrification, for instance, backlog. As you know, that most of the African countries are still faced with uh, low access I mean, uh, of people to to the you know to electricity so therefore uh, we've been discussing those issues and saying how can we then find the best way uh, to be able to expedite some of these programs from the electrification point of view but over and above that we've been looking at a general maintenance backlog yeah. uh, within you know the african con uh, continent uh, so that we're then able to start addressing some of these backlogs and and probably expediting as well the rollout of some of the infrastructure looking at the investment decisions as well yeah. that yeah. needs to be made and how best we can do that good finally and very quickly low shedding I know you began by asking people to spare electricity or use it sparingly can we expect load shedding this winter Obviously, I cannot uh, answer that. As you know, that load shading is as a result of uh, uh, the, you know, the constraints around you know, uh, the generation capacity. And, and as you know, that we buy electricity from ESCOM. But I can assure you that uh, if we all work together uh, as assistants of, of Johannesburg and, and South Africa and making sure that we save electricity, we should be able to avert load shading uh, uh, during this winter and beyond. All right. Thank you for talking to us. Uh, enjoy the rest of the uh, conference that's currently underway in Cape Town. That was uh, Sitelo Tulu, who is, of course, the managing director of Johannesburg's City Power.